Hey guys, this is Rusty Warden with Rockerdan Studios with another quick hit for you. Um, this is really kind of a technical one. I, it took me a long time to find a decent web page that had the right answer for it. But when, when I finally found a forum that had it buried like 20 posts deep, I figured I'd better, uh, you know, turn it into a real quick video. So here's what we experience. When you have a network attached drive, um, then Windows sees it as something over the interwebs. And so um, that causes problems when you store a lot of zip files like we do here. So every time you right click on it, you get this Windows security warning. Windows security, opening these files might be harmful to your computer. I click OK, and now that I've done that, it's just going to let me do it. OK, well, cool. Thank you for all that safety. Now, how the heck do you turn that off, right? Because if you've got a whole bunch of zip files, that just gets really annoying. The process is not intuitive. Uh, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to go to my charm. Is that what they call the charm screen? I call it the tile screen, whatever. Uh, anyway, I'm going to start typing in to find the control panel. Uh, launch said control panel. And then I've got this little internet options jibber jabber right over here. So I'm going to click on internet options. And I'm going to go over to security. The first thing I'm going to do is click on local intranet because that's where the device is. It's on your network. And I'm just going to drag whatever the setting you had was. I'm just going to drag it all the way to low because, shoot, I attached it. Okay. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on sites. And you're, then you're going to click on advanced. So you want to add the IP address of your quote, quote, website. Um, I actually have this uh, folder as part of my path, and I'm not going to use that. I just want to say everything in this IP address I'm going to trust, and I'm going to add it. I'm going to hit close and say OK and OK, and then I'm going to come back over here to my file, and magically I'm going to right-click on it, and that error message is no longer going to pop up. So annoying. People are having a hard time figuring out how to do it, where to find the answers, and I hope they find this. This is Rusty Ward with Rockerdown Studios, and I hope this was extremely helpful. Hey!